Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be discussing hair coloring. It's just some parts that I feel like that are important and these things you should know like off the top of your head. You shouldn't have to go look the information up and I want to share it with you guys. So first we're going to start with primary colors. Primary colors are fundamental colors that cannot be created by combining any other colors. Our primary colors are red, blue, and yellow. Those are our primary colors. Again, that's red, blue, and yellow. Now, we have our secondary colors. Secondary colors are created by mi mixing equal parts of primary colors. Our secondary colors are orange, purple, and green. Now, to get these colors, this is, this is the combination. Blue plus yellow equals green. Yellow plus red equals orange. Red plus blue equals violet. Those are our secondary colors. We have our territory colors. Our territory colors are created by mixing a secondary color and its neighboring primary color in equal amounts. Example, red plus violet equals red violet. Red plus orange equals red orange. Yellow plus orange equals yellow orange. Now here's the color wheel. So our territory colors are yellow green, orange yellow, red orange, violet red, blue violet and blue green now we're moving along to our complementary colors our complementary colors are primary and secondary colors positioned directly opposite of each other on the color wheel for example now this is important you have to remember these ladies um i'll share with you guys what i was taught in hair school on how to remember these um it's three pairs so it's going to be orange and blue green and red in yellow and violet. Now rule on how to remember this is to remember Christmas, which is green and red. They remember the Lakers, which is yellow and violet. And they remember the Florida Gators, which is orange and blue. So it's orange and blue, yellow and violet, green and red. Okay, now we're gonna move along to our natural hair color and tone. E-melanin is the melanin that lends black and brown colors to hair. Faux melanin is the melanin that gives blonde and red colors to hair. Now, how to remember this is to remember E-melanin, black and brown, faux melanin, red and blonde. Moving on. Also, con contributing pigment, also known as undertone, is the varying degrees of warmth exposed during a permanent color or lightening process. Remember, contributing pigment, also known as undertone. Now, the level system. The level system is used to determine the lightness or darkness of a hair color. I'm going to show you guys a chart and it is important that you guys know this. Like you may have to take a moment and think, but yeah, you need to know this. Like you don't need to have to like look at your notes and see what it is. This you need to know. Um, and then tone. Well, the tones, I'm not even going to be flawed now. Sometimes I may have to refer back, but I do remember them. I kind of came up with like an acronym, an acronym in my mind to remember them. Now, um, tones, aka hues, so when you see hues, you know that is tone, the, is the balance of color described as warm, cool, or neutral. Now, I'm going to move along to the chart. Let me show you guys the chart. Okay, so this is the hair color level. Remember, we just talked about the level system. This is 1 through 10, the level system. And then we have the contributing pigment. Important that you guys know these. 1 through 10, you have to know it off the top of your head. I feel like it's very important. You might need it during your clinical part of your test, so it's very important to know these. So I'm gonna um, go ahead and recite them for you guys. Number one, black. Two, dark brown. Three, medium brown. Four, light brown. Five, a lightest brown. Six, dark blonde. Seven, medium blonde. Eight, light blonde. 9, very light blonde, and 10, lightest blonde, platinum. Way to remember that, I just, well, I just took a picture of the level system in my mind and basically remembered it like that. Now, the contributing pigments, I kind of remember those. I do remember them, just I kind of get confused sometimes and I have to pause and think. But, um, so we're going to start with, which is going to be dark red brown, then it's going to be red brown, then it's going to be red, then it's going to be red orange, then it's going to be orange, then it's going to be orange gold, then it's going to be gold, yellow gold, yellow, 
and pale yellow. Now those are important, you guys do need to remember those. Now moving on to, well this is a note, this is important for you to remember. Level is the degree from light to dark and tone is the degree of warmth to cold, which is what we just seen on the chart. Remember I told you that knowing your colors is important. For example, when color correcting, it is very important. When the hair is green, you use red to balance it. When the hair is red, you use green to balance it. When the hair is blue, you use orange to balance it. When the hair is orange, you use blue to balance it. When the hair is yellow, you use violet to balance it. And when the hair is violet, you use yellow to balance it. Now, for example, you know, like when we bleach our bundles or bleach the knots and things like that, we use the purple shampoo. Now, that's the reason that we use the purple shampoo is to even out those tones and color correct it. Make sure everything is seamlessly looking the same color versus you have this yellow piece over here, this half look, no. So it's going to even them out. So that's why we use the purple shampoo if you ever wondered, you know, why, do you, why people on YouTube use the purple shampoo after either bleaching hair or bleaching the knots. Okay, now here's a fact that you guys didn't know. Hair color, one word, is a professional industry term referring to artificial hair color products and services. Hair color, two words, refers to natural hair color. Well, to the natural hair color. Okay, so next week we're going to go in depth um, about the different type of colors. The um, we're going to talk about the cuticle and what colors you know penetrate the cuticle and what don't. Um, yeah, so next week is going to be more detailed, but I feel like this is important. Um, if you have to watch this video multiple times, I think it'd be great for you because this is important before you actually jump into hair coloring. This is important. So next week, we're going to talk about um, you know the chemicals and how to correctly mix lightener and how to accurately mix hair color because a lot of us don't do that correctly, especially from the videos that I watch on YouTube. Definitely know it's not done correctly, so we're going to go over that and what key points may be on the state board that is important. So thank you guys for watching. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you guys for watching. Tune in next week. Tune in next week for the other half of the hair coloring video.